Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts. I thought today that we would take a look at how we get to our Cricut Design Space and actually download it to our computer. So as you can see, I'm on cricut.com, the homepage, and up the top here, we've got Cricut Design Space. So we're gonna click on that. It opens a new window and here we have, welcome to Cricut Design Space and you can register your machine. Uh, so you can then get a free trial subscription to Cricut Design Space. Then the alternatives is if I presume if you don't have the machine but you'd like to try out Cricut Design Space, you've got to try it now. So we can click on that because I don't have the machine at the moment. But obviously without the machine you can't cut but you can play around with the actual designing. And then immediately you go in and it comes up with a video. So there's basically no registration or anything. I don't particularly want to watch the video at this point, so I'm just gonna click that away. And here we have, I guess, what is Cricut Design Space. It's already got me logged in because I'm logged into Cricut. So I'm assuming, so let's have a play, but I'm assuming that we could save projects or whatever. So let's have a look. We've got um, Anna Griffin projects here. These are I guess they're ready to go or whatever they want to call them type projects. So let's have a little look down what we've got that we can just have a look at. Keep going down. I'm trying to see if there's a card. Oh, there we go. There's a thank you card. I think I've seen this one done a few times actually. Let's see if we can find something else. Oh, look, that's an iPad case of some description, I guess. Oh, here we go. Here's some nice cards. Let's use one of those. So floral thank you card. So it says it's easy, less than 30 minutes. This is what we need. The explore, the design space, the mat, a pen, light pink, dark pink. So it's telling us how many sheets of card we need. It doesn't say the size, but I'm assuming it's talking 12 by 12 here. It's a free design. I guess that's because it's part of um, those three designs that come with Cricut Design Space. Uh, you can customise it or you can do Make It Now. So let's have a look what we do if, if we click Make It Now. So it's just thinking about it. Cricut Design Space plugin supports da da da. So we need to download this plugin. So let's just do that. So this is just something that it needs to add to your computer in order to use the design space. Um, don't just automatically do these things with every website that you have. If you're comfortable that you know the website, like we know Cricut, then that will be fine. But as I say, don't do it for everything. And then you want to click on that so that you can then agree to it. So agree, and then it's going to actually... Uh, Simply drag the design space icon to your internet plugins folder. So we just drag that across to there. And then I gotta put in my password. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just following the instructions. Click OK. And it's waiting for the install to complete. So just move that over so we can see everything. Okay, so my plugin download that we were just doing seemed to get in a bit of a pickle because it was still going 15 minutes later and I don't think it should have taken that amount of time. So I did go back in, uh, I switched it off and went back in and now as you can see it's working fine. And I did actually check where the plugin should have gone on the computer here and it was all there so I think it had just got itself in a pickle actually on the screen but it was all fine so obviously I would need to log in to continue which I can't oh I can do because I'm me so I'm just going to do that now uh, because I'm obviously had to log out in order for that to work but obviously what I haven't got is the computer uh, is the machine so I can't go any further but what it's showing you is it's got one sheet of the bright pink here and this is where it's going to cut and then if you go on here and it's saying cut you can see there that's a little cut icon and if we go on to the second mat which is here the mat preview you can see it says you need to cut 
you need to emboss and you need to that's that's your embossing tool I think and that's your pen so that's telling you, you need all three things and this is where it's going to cut so clearly you wouldn't need a 12 by 12 piece of paper but you could do it with just a slightly smaller piece okay so as I say I hope this has been helpful and I will see you again next time and thanks for watching bye for now